today. Um, well, it would help if I remembered where I put it. There we go. Today, we are going to go over what is in my tackle bag. I've done this video, I think twice, but I changed my tackle bag. I added things to it. I took things out. I added new baits. I spent money. It's gonna be very interesting. For those of you that might be wondering, yes, my tackle bag is the Plano A-Series tackle backpack. And look, it's even got a fade to it from the sun. We are going to go out of order. Let's open this pocket right here. Okay, what do you got? You have a container with 4.8 inch Kitek Swing Impact Fat Swim Baits. Okay, those have been there for a while and it hasn't really changed. And then also in that same compartment, you have a pair of Rapala fishing gloves. Do I use them often? No, not really. But is it nice to have them? Yes. And in here, most of you guys already know what I have in here. You have a Rapala 50 pound scale. You also have a pair of the Rapala lip grips. And pair of the Rapala Superline scissors. And by the way, you guys, these Superline scissors, they're anywhere from, I think they're like four to $7 if you go to Walmart, enough of that. Let's get into what we're all really here for, and that is the major contents of this bag, the tackle. <laughs> What do we got in here? You guys will notice some new boxes. Got a bunch of plastics up here. You have baits in here. Oh, man. So, you guys can already use your imagination about what's gonna be in there, can't you? You have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have like 10 bags of Rage Cross. Okay. And I mean, you have, it's gonna fall over probably. You have Blue Bug, Plum Crazy, Dirty Craw, more Plum Crazy, Summer Craw, Amber Green, Green Pumpkin, Black and Blue, you name it. Now, on the other side, because you guys know there's also another brand of Craws that I kind of can't go without. What a mess. You have the Biospawn Vile Craw. And, you know, kind of the same thing here. Okeechobee Craw, Alabama Craw, Green Pumpkin, Black Blue Flake, Watermelon Red. Okay. Gonna open that pocket. What in the world is that? Yes, that is the Jackal Gantero Jr. It is a five inch swim bait and it is 1.5 ounces. Okay, so anyway, the Gantero. Now, Yozuri knuckle bait, quarter ounce in, or excuse me, this is the half ounce model. I have not tried this yet. Okay, now, what else is in here? Yep. Of course, you guys know, War Eagle Spinner Baits, and the war, also the War Eagle Screaming Eagle are my favorite spinner baits. And we got little, little Kitek Swing Impact, four inches. You never know when you're gonna need them. March 31st of 2018, my 2017 fishing license expired. So I went and I got the all species fishing license for 2019. I do not fish without one of these. 
it's just common sense. Okay. You have Gamagatsu offset shankworm EWG three out hooks. You've got a couple, um, what do you call it? A couple flipping hooks, swim bait hooks, different size hooks, uh, three sixteenths, tungsten weights, quarter ounce tungsten weights. There we go. Yeah, half ounce and even a few three eighths tungsten weights. And by the way, um, I didn't really get a chance to finish to finish my terminal tackle box. I just kind of threw some stuff in there. But super line hooks, yes, I love those. Oh yes, again, the box is not finished, but it's another Bass Mafia box with what? Yes, that's right, jigs. Football jigs, flipping jigs, swim jigs. Not finished, but I had to get this ready because I know I'm gonna be fishing here coming up soon with other people. Uh, you've got Basically a lot of quarter ounce, three eighths, and half ounce sizes. But again, this box is not done. I stayed up late last night redoing this entire bag, so kind of bear with me. <laughs> okay, so anyway, box number two, kaboom. Number three, top water, okay. You look at this here, you have your Yep, your original Spook, your Spook Junior, KVD, Whopper Plopper 130, Whopper Plopper uh, 1, okay, Whopper Plopper 130, Whopper Plopper 90, Storm Original Chug Bug, Live Target Frog, Live Target Sunfish, uh, KVD Frog, yeah, BPS Popper, a Rebel Popper, just a bunch of topwater baits, but... My favorite frog, which is the Booyah Pad Crasher, is not in this box. Why? Because it is on my rod with 65 pound braid. <laughs> you guys already know. This took me a while to do last night. Mega Bass S Cranks, Rapala DT4 and DT6s. KBD 1.5 and 2.5 crankbaits. And look at this interesting find. Okay. This is a Rapala rip and wrap. Okay, it's a lipless crankbait. But besides the sound of the hooks, yes, it is a silent lipless crankbait. And yes, I will be using that soon. But anyway, Strike King Red Eye Shads. Uh, pretty sure that's Mega Bass War Pig. 5XD, Strike King 5XD. Rapala DT14, DT10. And yes, of course, the Mega Bass Vision Ow, the Mega Bass Vision 110 Plus One, and the original Vision 110. My favorite jerk baits. I have to have Mega Bass in my tackle box at all times. I'm just kidding. I don't actually have to, but I like to. Don't fall. The last box is some spinner baits and like three chatter baits. You've got uh, Strike King, you've got Revenge, you've got War Eagle, you have a Z Man chatter bait, you have a Z Man chatter frog, you have a mini Z Man, you have the what the heck was this called? Uh, you got the, can't remember the name, the Mike Iaconelli chatter bait. Uh, chartreuse spinnerbait, a coleslaw spinnerbait that I've caught a lot of fish on. And of course, rooster tails. I like those for river fishing. And of course, one of the spinnerbaits doesn't, there we go. But anyway, so I didn't want to like make this super long, but that was my tackle bag. If you guys have any questions about any of the tackle, any of the plastics, baits, lures, tools, anything in the bag, do not hesitate to let me know in the comments. You guys know I will respond to all of you and answer any questions that all of you guys have. But I have to go get ready for work. And then I think tomorrow, I'm gonna be doing some fishing with another YouTube channel, like I talked about. But anyway, that's enough of that. I will see you guys next time.